25 years ago today, a Como 4 News photographer had a hunch. So Dave Crockett headed to Mount St. Helens, pretty sure that something was going to happen. Boy, was he right. He spent the night there, and then at 8.32 a.m., May 18, 1980, the volcano blew its top. Como 4's Bob Thronson says Crockett was an eyewitness to what he called hell on earth. On that Sunday morning, this was the mountain Dave Crockett came to photograph. I can't, I really don't know how to describe it. It was just a feeling that something was going to happen and I just needed to be here. It is 8.32 a.m. I knew I had to get out of there. I started down the valley, look at my river mirror, and there's just a wall of debris, mud, steam, rocks, boulders, and full-size trees just rolling along. The whole valley's disappearing behind me. Came down here, ended up right here. I was right about here. The whole, uh, whole little area here just disappeared in front of me completely. Just a big explosion of mud and trees. Uh, and I was just blocked off. Um, at that point, I just jumped out of my car, grabbed my film camera, and I went right up there in that ridge where I had a view just over the trees of the mountain and I could see what was happening. I opened the door and the alarm started going off, but it was kind of the least of my concerns at that point. The ground was moving, I could feel the earthquakes. The wind is being sucked up towards the mountain, towards the blast. By this time you can hear the mountain rumbling. Constant rumbling, grinding, growling sound. Uh, I had this huge cloud of material with lightning and blue and purple colors, um, rumbling, see lightning hitting the ground. Um, I had to get away from that. Dave starts walking uphill, through the steaming mud, through the ash cloud. He turns on the camera and starts to talk. Well, dear God, whoever finds this, I don't know. Oh, you can't see this, I'm sure it's, it's too dark. I've left the car behind. Rest of the gear, we got one magazine. And as you can tell probably from this picture, I'm walking towards the only light I can see on top of a ridge. I can hear the mountain behind me rumbling. It's an enormous mud and water slide came down and washed out the road. I never really thought I'd believe this or, or say this, but at this moment, I honest to God believe I'm dead. There's really no, no way to describe those feelings. I feel the ash now in my eyes. It's getting very hard to breathe. Burns to breathe. I'm going to be able to talk. It burns to breathe. It burns my eyes. Oh dear God, my God, this is hell. I just can't describe it, it's pitch black. Just pitch black, this is, this is hell on earth I'm walking through. Yeah, I got the wrong attitude here, man. This would be something to tell my grandchildren about. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> the breeze started blowing the ash out and all of a sudden I realized I could breathe a little better and I could see a little bit of greenness. It wasn't pitch black. I could see maybe a couple feet. Uh, at that point, I took a photograph of myself with a wide angle lens, you know, held the camera out in front of me and click, and I had a big smile on my face. I was just covered with ash, you know, just my hair was sticking straight out, but um, I think you can tell from the expression on my face, I thought and then maybe I was gonna get out. When I finally realized I had made it and I was gonna live, I just started laughing and screaming out loud, and just yelling at the mountain. St. Helens would claim many lives today, but not this one.